Welcome to the first episode of Cooking with Ty. Today, we're gonna to be making a Buddha bowl. Something that I said I was gonna make on my channel for a little while now, so I'm excited to make this because y'all know that I love cooking. If y'all don't know, now y'all know now. I love to cook plant-based meals in particular. I love to cook plant-based meals. I don't know if I'm even in the shop, hopefully I am. I love to cook plant-based meals. Um, I've been plant-based pretty much for a little over a year. I transitioned, I transitioned from um, pescatarian to vegetarian to vegan and now i'm pretty much plant-based i'll eat meat every once in a while every once in a while um like i just had some smoked salmon like a couple probably last week um but i don't eat meat every day i don't i don't really like eating meat every day because i don't like the way it makes me feel it makes me feel bloated and all of these other problems that i'll probably talk about in another video but yeah like i said today we're going to be making a buddha bowl which is one of my favorite meals um buddha bowls I don't know how I found out about Buddha bowls, but when I found out, I pretty much just started making it so much to where I pretty much eat it almost every day. So it's one of my favorite meals. And um, these are all the ingredients that you need. Start with wild rice. You can use quinoa, that works great also. Usually I use um, wild rice, but quinoa is amazing as well. Chickpeas two cans of chickpeas, or you can use dry pick chickpeas and soak them overnight, just depending on how long, um, how much time you have, and just, you know, things of that nature. So uh, I got two sweet potatoes right here. Two sweet potatoes right here. I got a red pepper, but you can use any pepper you want to, honestly. You can really use any veggies that you want to, but the veggies that I'm using today are red pepper, and I also have some kale, spinach, and char that I have in the fridge. Um, this is for the rice, a bay leaf, and some veggie broth. You can use water. And um, this is for, minus the avocado, the tahini sauce that is so amazing that I make at the end. So, and this is all the spices that I use right here. You can honestly switch it out, but these are just the spices that I use right here. So I'm gonna show you how to make this amazing meal. Let's get it. Hey, look at the time while I'm cooking right now. Divine timing, you feel me? Divine timing. This rice is boiling right now, so I'm about to go ahead and put the top over it. You know, cover it up. Us, 45 minutes, the rice will be done. Exactly 45 minutes. I'm actually about to tell Siri to set a timer, so hold up, I'll, I'll check back in with you. And I learned in culinary that you, in culinary school that you're really supposed to put something wet, like a wet towel under here. But hey, if any of my culinary teachers watching, I'm hey, I had to do what I had to do. I had to do what I gotta do. So you're basically just gonna cut them in small sizes like this, and then. Just a little bit, we can honestly just go like that. Smoked paprika. Fire, 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 fire. You can, be, you can be a little friendly with this too, you know? You can be a little friendly with the smoked paprika. Just 
just get my hands up in there. You don't have to do this. You can honestly just go like that, but. And then go for another one. Then I add a little bit of garlic powder. You see, I only got a little bit left. I've been going crazy. Cinnamon. Cinnamon is key. Don't forget the cinnamon, y'all. Do not forget the cinnamon. You only need a little bit. Honestly, I just eyeball all of these. It's really like, I would say a teaspoon for each, for each of them. I would say a teaspoon is key. It's cool. Now we got the time. You feel me? Time is key. Time is very key. I need that time. Now, honestly, you're just mixing it up. 